Hello and welcome to the second tutorial of KeyStage. So in this tutorial we're going to talk about a very important feature of KeyStage which are instrument presets. So instrument presets are containers of instrument patches which are placeholders for program change and bank select messages and this allows us to access the instruments of any de connected device or any connected uh, virtual instrument by simply selecting the patches from the lists here. Now you realize that it says no instrument here so because KeyStage does not have any instrument patches or instrument presets. So if I tap here, KeyStage tells me that there are no instrument presets. Would you like to create a new one and assign it as the default instrument? Instrument means instrument preset here. I tap yes. So in this tutorial I will also using my North Electro 5 and I'm going to create an instrument preset for North. So I'm just going to name this as North. So now you realize that this name changed to North. Okay, so previously I was manually choosing this program change and bank select numbers. So I'm going to first choose an instrument. So uh, I'm going to choose program change 3. I actually know the patch lists of North. So this is an electric piano. And I want to store this into this instrument preset. So I tap editor here. Now I have an empty instrument preset. I first need to create a group. So let's create our first group E piano. All right, we double tap on this E piano to access it and I'm gonna tap create new patch. Now you realize that these numbers automatically translated here. So the name of this patch, you, you can see it, it's Verly Threm. Actually, I, I can name it anything I want, but I just want to be consistent with the names in, in North. So now you realize that the name of my part automatically changed to the name of the preset. And if I tap here, I have this single group, E piano, and under it I have this single patch, Worldly Thrum. So let's create another one. So I tap Editor again, and this time I'm going to create another group, a group for organs. And I double tap and I create new patch. Now I'm going to manually change the program changes here. So I'm going to change it to 13. Well, uh, later I'm going to show you that I, I don't still need to manually change this program change and bank select numbers and look at the MIDI implementation charts of, of my North. But th there will be a much, an, much easier method to do that. So this is program change 13 and lower bank select 0. So this, the name of this patch is Radio King. And I create it. And if I go back, now I can access these two patches instantaneously by selecting them from these lists. Now, if your MIDI controller and your synthesizer are the same device, like here in Mod North Electro 5, there is a much easier way to create patch scripts. Now, I tap Preferences here and tap External MIDI Control. I'm going to go over the details of these menus in another tutorial video, but here, let's take a look at this external control. I'm going to activate Track Input Changes parameters. Now, if I change the instruments of North from this knob, you can see that these program change and bank select numbers are automatically changing. So Nord actually sends these instrument signals to, to this track. And this way I can easily change the instrument I want and then assign it to anything. So here is another electric piano. And I'm gonna create another patch for this electric piano. Create new patch. And I'm just gonna name it. So this way, I can quickly create patch scripts of any connected instruments, as long as the instrument and the MIDI controller are the same devices.
Now there is a third and much easier way to create instrument presets, which involves Cubase patch scripts. So for those of you who use Cubase, you probably know about these patch script files. These are text files that contains uh, basically these patch names and groups that allows Cubase to access these hardware instruments, uh, instrument presets. So I adopted key stage to uh, read Cubase patch scripts as well to quickly create full instrument presets. Uh, I'm gonna go to Dropbox. I already stored a couple of Cubase patch scripts here. Uh, specifically one for North. You can import patch scripts from internet. Some vendors create their own patch scripts and also some people create those patch scripts and put it online and you can find them over there. This is one of them. So the patch script file looks like that. These parts are not important. Uh, Keystage does not care about those parts but here are the main information. So for example here is our bank one and Every patch name are written here. So the first column here corresponds to program change numbers and the, the other two columns corresponds to uh, bank select numbers. Now we can see that these are all also grouped into banks here. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to export this patch script file and open it in key stage. So a new instrument up is uploaded. Would you like to create a new one or change the existing instrument? So I'm gonna change the existing instrument. Here's the instrument preset that I just created. I'm gonna select that. And here's a confirmation. And there we go. Now if I tap here, I'm gonna see the full list of instrument patches of my nerd. So I can easily access everything from here. So if I go to the editor, I can also see the list here. Now we can change the order of these groups or patches by simply pressing and holding it and moving it up and down. Or there are a couple of other ways. You can choose multiple of groups or patches. You can delete them, you can move them within the group or within the preset. Or you can move those items, let's cancel and go into this bank I can select multiple of these patches and I can move them to, to other locations like let's move them into bank one. So you can do all kinds of editing in this instrument editor. Okay, we learned how to create instrument patches and groups, but instrument presets does also contain parameters and we can create custom parameters for instruments. Now we can, I can tap this add parameter button here and this allows me to choose between a slider parameter or a switch parameter. Let's create a slider parameter. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the easiest way to create parameters again when your MIDI keyboard and your synthesizer are physically the same device. So these controllers here on my North accesses the parameters of my of the instrument inside North. And if I move any of these sliders, let's, so let's move reverb slider here, you realize that this number automatically changed to 102. So the reverb parameters control change number is 102. So I don't need to manually, I, I don't need to look at the MIDI implementation chart of North and take a look at all parameters and manually enter them here. I can again automatically do that here. So any, num any controller that I tap or change here on North, the number is automatically applied here. So this is reverb. By the way, this is only happens when track input changes parameters is on. That's why I actually turned that on. So I can one by one create parameters, switch or slider parameters. So let's create a switch parameter here, an on off parameter. For example, this is reverb on and off. So reverb on off. Whenever I create a parameter, it's added to this list. I realize that I can control the reverb parameter within key stage. When I turn this on, 
you can see that the this light also changes on and off. Now suppose you created your instrument preset and created all your parameters and you want to store it somewhere and also you want to share it with other people. Now Keystage has Dropbox integration that allows you to save everything in Keystage to a location in Dropbox to actually a folder that it creates in the apps folder. I mean you can back up your songs, create global properties, anything and also the instrument presets are automatically backed up in in the folder of key stage anything that you created here so what i'm going to do is just i'm going to access one of them the one one of the uh, instant presets that i created for north now these cubase patch script files that key stage creates contain some additional information which are these parameter numbers here and uh, normal cubase patch script files do not contain the inf those information so that's why i named this as extended cubase patch script files so here is the one that i created for north that I'm, and I'm using actively. So I'm going to export this into key stage and show you the structure. So I'm also going to replace this north. Now you realize that all these parameters allow me to control my north completely. So even if I don't have this controller in front of me, I can access everything from here and everything can be saved here on every part. So for example, here, I, I want to create a custom organ, which is not stored in one of the presets of North. I can add a phaser effect here, change the EQ, and any changes that I make are stored in those parameters here, automatically. So if I want to switch to something else, maybe mix with a synthesizer. With the tremolo effects, with a high reverb, a lower volume. So any changes that I make are automatically stored on these parameters. So you don't need to actually store these changes into North. They are already stored in this part here. Now suppose you created this instrument with all these parameter values and you want it to store it somewhere. So that's where the favorites comes into place. So when I tap this star button, I can create a new favorites. So let's say my grand string and I add it here. Now we realize that the name of the part now changed to my grand string. But whenever I change a parameter here, it's no longer my grand string. The one of the effects is, is changed. So then the name of the patch ap appears on the, on the part. But this allows me to store these favorites and recall them later on any part. I tap the list here and I tap my grand strings and you realize that the instrument information together with all the parameters are recalled into this part. Now there is one final thing, th thing that I want to talk about which is uh, using multiple instrument presets. So in the previous tutorial video, we realized that I was also using a software synthesizer called Sunriser. Now I'm going to demonstrate with another instrument called Galileo. So I'm going to create another part here, choose my inputs, and there's Galileo here. And again, for obvious reasons, the channel is assigned to channel 2. So this is an organ simulator. But now if I create a tr part here, it says the instrument is north. So I, I need to create another instrument for Galileo and change the instrument of this output channel to Galileo. So let's first import a patch script file for Galileo. This is anoth another one that I created. So I export it into key stage. Now this time I'm going to create a new instrument. 
And automatically sees Galileo because that name is actually contained in the Cubase patch script file. So I create. So a new instrument is created, but this is still North. So in order to change that to Galileo, I need to go into a new tab, which is called MIDI connections. Now there are these output MIDI alliances. MIDI alliances are placeholders for actual MIDI MIDI connections, MIDI output connections, with some additional information. And one of the additional informations uh, is, as you can see here, is the instrument. So I'm going to choose the output for Galileo. And it says that the instrument is the default instrument. And if I go to instrument presets here, you can see that the default instrument is North. So if I change this to Galileo and close it, now we realize that the instrument of any part on this track is changed to Galileo. And now we have new parameters and a new set of. Well, I'm, I'm hearing both North and Galileo, so I'm going to turn solo on. If I can access any instrument here. as well as the parameters. So I can create as many instrument presets as I want and assign them to different MIDI outputs so that I can control any number of instruments and access their instruments and parameters from key stage.